chances out of 1000 that rice, wheat and daimodi would be in one clade. 15 and 30. So actually there are 30 nucleotide substitution in clay madomonas compared to this wheat. Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I will tell you how we can interpret a phylogenetic tree. So before we go into the further detail of phylogenetic tree, so let's first understand what is taxon, what are branches and what are nodes. So to understand this, we can consider this simple figure. Here you can see we have different samples like sample A, sample F, and sample C, D, E, and B. So actually there are samples from A to F and E. So you can see here we have drawn a phylogenetic tree. So what are taxon? So here the terminal portion you can see like this A, F, C, D. All these are called as taxon or tips. So if we want to know what are the branches, so you can see this part would be branches like this part, this part and similarly like this part, this part is called as branches. And the third important thing is actually node and here you can see, here you can see here we have tips are branches and here where there are branches and they are meeting one common ancestor this point is called as node or here maybe this point is also called as node so you can see this point is called as node so hopefully now you have a clear idea about taxon branches and nodes so let's go ahead and understand what are clades so if you can see uh, like if this is one ancestor which is dividing into further branches you can see this would be one clade and similarly this would be one clade so if you will cut it from here so this would be called as a clade and you can see here in this clade are there further subclades you can see this is one major clade we call it major clade and similarly these smaller are also called as subclades so these two would be called as subclades and here you can see actually uh, this is one major clade and it has two subclades so this green one and this blue one would be called as clades and then what are not clades so if you can see uh, while considering this this is actually the part of this so it is not the part belong to this one so these are actually the not a clade so similarly this is also not a clade because actually this is one clade and it is now overlapping with another clade so then this would not be called as clade so now we can go ahead and we can understand what is the difference between clades, taxon and sister taxons. So as we have already uh, learned that A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H, they are called as tips or they are also called as taxons. And as I previously told that, you can see if we can draw B and C and here is one their common ancestor which is node. So if we draw like this, this is one clade and we, this is also one clade. Similarly, this is also one clade. Similarly, this is also one clade. And if you draw this overall, so it is also covering one common ancestor. So this is also one clade. And if you cover all this as a larger unit you can see this has also one node uh, it means this has also one ancestor so it means this is also 
one clade so and you can see here a and b and similarly c you can see b and c are in one clade so they would be called as sister taxon sister taxon but you can see because a is in different clade so a is not sister taxon to this because you can see here a is located within a different in clade so similarly you can see e and f are in one clade so they would be called as sister taxon they are sister taxon to each other so now we can move ahead and try to understand further concept that what is the meaning of branch lengths so let's uh, take one example of this phylogenetic tree so here you can see uh, here we have rice wheat uh, timothy and napier grass guinea grass sorghum maize and here you can see few has small branch length and few have greater branch length and similarly in comparison to this timothy you can see the napier grass has even more increased branch length and similarly you can see the clay meadomonas has even more increased length of branch so what it is telling so actually it is telling that the, you can see actually the one node because one node is is representing one ancestor so these are actually the newest newest species and here are the ancestors so it mean more will be the branch length so more will be the divergence it mean this clay meadomonas you can see it has the highest length of branch so it is more evolutionarily divergent compared to this wheat because you can see wheat has only a small branch length and you can see similarly wheat and uh, timothy have almost similar although they are also different but almost in comparison to this they have similar branch length so they are less divergent as compared to this so next we can move to the bootstrap values here you can see here are the different uh, numbers are indicated these are actually called bootstrap values and this whole process is known as bootstrapping and here you can see if uh, while performing analysis if you have set your criteria in mega excel 1000 so it mean 1000 mean 1000 over 1000 so it mean this is 1000 percent that wheat and timothy would be in the same clade and similarly you can see this is the 749 it mean this is 749 out of 1000 it mean there are 749th chances out of 1000 that rice wheat and timothy would be in one clade and similarly you can see few has less like the 6.602 so it mean this 602 it mean it has 602 chances out of 1000 to be these two clades should be together so it means the bootstrap values actually shows the confidence on our analysis and it uh, out of 100 or out of 1000 if you are taking the bootstrap value of 100 then of course the overall would be 100 and how many times the same branch is observed with the replicate and sometime you have also seen that this bootstrap values are mentioned in points like 0.98 so it means this is out of 100 so now we can move ahead so the next important thing to learn is actually this key so what actually this key is representing this key is actually representing the level of divergence how, how what it's mean actually you can see if you have made this phylogenetic tree there are two possible ways one 
possible way that you can draw your phylogenetic tree with the help of nucleotide sequence and what is other possibility you can also draw this phylogenetic tree using amino acid sequences so actually this is showing the divergence of nucleotide or amino acids so what does 0 0.05 mean 0 0.05 mean if we take 100 so it means this much length is representing five changes of amino acids or nucleotide like if we take this much distance you can see this much distance would be this so it means five are different and this much again five and here maybe around four so it means totally almost nine amino acid sequences are different compared to this wheat and the difference between wheat is maybe only one so it means one nine minus one would be eight so actually you can see this is showing the distance or the level of divergence so what it actually shows you can see it is showing the number of nucleotide substitution per 100 or it may also show the number of amino acid substitutions per 100 and similarly you can see this has highest branch length so if we make a comparison of key and each one is representing 5 5 5 so 5 5 5 5 5 and 5 15 and 30 so actually there are 30 nucleotide substitution in clay madomonas compared to this wheat so hopefully now you can interpret phylogenetic trees easily if you have still any question in related to understanding or reading phylogenetic tree please let me know in comment section thank you for watching bye bye